A link in bio page is a page that allows you to show multiple links to social media fans on a single web page. They're often used in social media marketing and Instagram marketing to overcome the one link rule for social media profiles. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a link in bio page with SeedProd quick and easy. This video is brought to you by SeedProd, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing that you want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to be installing Seedprod and I'm going to be using the pro version in this video. So if you don't have an account, come on over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description and click on the button here to grab your copy of it. Once you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login and on the left hand side, enter your email address and password and click login. Next, let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab and we want to download the plugin here. So let's go ahead and click on this button. And on the bottom hand side, let's click on the icon here to grab the license key. We'll need that to activate seed prod. We can close this tab for now. Next, let's come over to plugins and add new and upload plugin. We can drag this zip file right here onto the choose file button, or you can click choose file to select the file manually on your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click install now and activate the plugin. Next, I'm going to be pasting my license key right here and clicking verify key. And you should see a green success message if everything went well. And if you have this tab on the bottom of your browser like I do, you can go ahead and close that. We don't need that. Next, we want to go ahead and select a template. So we can click on templates on the left hand side here. And we can see a little preview of all of the templates that come with seed prod. There's quite a few here to choose from for all different types of landing pages. The one that I'm going to select, I'm going to click on lead squeeze and I'm going to use the personal links one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little check mark here and give it a name. I'm just going to call this one links and save start editing the page. And there we go, Seedprod will load. And if you're not familiar with Seedprod, we have the template on the right hand side here. We could have created this from scratch if we wanted. You can create blank templates. And on the left hand side here, we have our blocks and we have sections that we can see. So we have standard blocks and we can just drag these onto the page nice and quick and easy. And we can move things around if we wish. And every block here has different settings. So if I click on the image here, you can see there's alt text, image size, alignment. We also have a templates tab here for some of the blocks. So we could add some default styling if we wish really quickly, just by one clicking on the different styles there. And then we have the advanced tab, which has different options based on what block it is. So a link in bio page, you wanna keep it quite simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a custom page for seed prod links. So I'm gonna get rid of the header here and I'll keep this little text here and I'm gonna get rid of this image. Next, I'm gonna take the image block on the left-hand side here and I'm gonna drag that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and on the left-hand side, you can use your own image or you can even use a stock image. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a logo of seed prod into the media library. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select files and select that logo. After the file is uploaded, I'm gonna select this and you can see that that was imported into our page here. Next, I just want to update the text here. So I'm going to click on the cog wheel and on the left hand side, I'm just going to paste in some text from seed prod. Now, if you wish, you could have a paragraph of text here, but I just want the buttons here. I want to keep this page as simple as I can. Next with the logo here, it's a little big on the side. So I'm just going to edit that with the image size here. So under the content tab, I'm going to select percentage and then I'm going to make it about 80% wide. So you can see it came in a little bit there on the sides. And I also want to change the background color here. So I'm going to go to my global settings on the bottom left corner and I'm going to select background and we have background style. I'm going to switch this to gradient and I'm just going to update the color so it kind of resembles seed prod colors a little bit better. So the first color that I'm going to select is going to be kind of in the orange family here. And the second color I want will be in the kind of purple colors. So we'll go with something like this. And I'd like this to be switched. So I'm just going to switch the angle here to 180 so that this color is on the top. Okay, so everything's starting to look pretty nice. Now we just need to finish up and work on the buttons here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the first one. And if we go under templates, we have some pre-made buttons here already made up. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the orange one here. And then I'm gonna come under content. And I'm just gonna change this from follow me to follow us. And instead of Instagram, I'm just gonna switch this to YouTube. If you come down to the bottom, you'll see icons here. So we can just click on this and it'll just do a quick search for YouTube. And I'll select this one. And there we have a YouTube button right now. now. Of course, we can update the link here to our YouTube channel. So I'll just paste that in right here. Now you also have some options here where you can add a no follow or you can open the link in a new window if you like. 
Under the advanced tab, you have some topography options, background color, vertical padding, and some different options here for button style, text shadow, etc. I'm just going to turn this into a flat button and I'm going to make this orange a little bit different for our need. And I think the last thing that I want to do, if we come back to the content tab, we can change the alignment to the full width. And now we have this nice big button that goes all the way across. And now these other two, we can just delete. And we can actually duplicate these blocks if we wish. And then we can update the text and the icons on each one of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do that. So here we go. I've added all of my buttons for different social media networks, our newsletter and our blog. Let's go ahead in the bottom left here again, and we're going to click this time on mobile preview. And we can just make sure that this looks good in the mobile browsers. And we can go ahead and switch back. Once we're happy with everything, you can go ahead and save this. And now if we had a little newsletter in here that we, that we could collect on, we could actually connect this. So we under the connect tab, we could connect to your favorite email marketing service, like constant contact, for example, and you can click connect and connect new account. And you can get an API key from constant contact, insert this in here, and then you can be connected to this service where the emails collected will go directly to them in your list. Up here in the third tab, we have page settings. So if we go over here quick, we can change our page title. We have the page URL. We can change the page status to draft or publish. I always publish my page right here with this little drop down button and you can click on publish. You can show it powered by Seedprod link if you wish and join our affiliate program and you get a 20% commission on all sales generated from this link. You can also switch to isolation mode if you wish. This will help with some conflicts if there are any. And as well, you can add your Facebook app ID down here. Under the SEO tab, we recommend that you install all-in-one SEO, which is a fantastic plugin. And the same thing for analytics, we highly recommend Monster Insights. Under the scripts tab, you can add scripts to your header, body, or footer. And you can also hook up a custom domain. And there's a link here if you want to learn how to do that. Again, once you're happy with everything, let's click save and publish the page. Let's go ahead and see the live page. And there we go. There's our completed link in bio page that you could now share with anyone on social media. And you don't have to use a third party service. You can just do this on your own website and keep all the traffic to yourself. Now that you have a link in bio page, maybe you would like to start capturing leads. Check out this video on how to create a lead capture page in WordPress, which will walk you through the process easily step by step by using Seedprod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.